So here is the comparison between PyTorch and TensorFlow. You can click on the links down in the description if you want to try out PyTorch or TensorFlow. PyTorch is known for its simplicity and flexibility, making it a favorite among researchers and developers who want to experiment and iterate quickly. It uses dynamic computation graphs, meaning you can modify the graph on the fly during execution, which makes debugging easier and more intuitive. PyTorch also has a very Pythonic feel, which makes it easy to integrate with other Python libraries. However, it can be less efficient than TensorFlow for production-level deployments, especially when dealing with large-scale models. On the other hand, TensorFlow is known for its scalability and performance, especially in production environments. It uses static computation graphs, which can be more optimized and faster once the model is trained. TensorFlow is also backed by Google and offers a wide array of tools and support for both research and deployment, including TensorFlow Lite for mobile and TensorFlow JS for web applications. Its learning curve can be steeper, and it's sometimes considered more complex to use than PyTorch, but is powerful and highly optimized for large-scale operations. So, if you are a researcher or someone looking for flexibility and ease of use, PyTorch is a great choice. But if you're focused on scalability, production-level deployments, and performance, TensorFlow is the way to go.